Dear family, friends, and colleagues, I'm Richard Solomon, and this is my life partner, Jackie Saunders. And this is episode 29 in our series, Enhancing Human Relationships Through the Fourth R of the Relationship Skills. And in today's episode, we'll demonstrate how to stop people from playing hurtful, I'm okay, you're not okay psychological games, such as see what you made me do, I'm only trying to help you, I got you, you, and lunch bag. If you're not familiar with these psychological games, please refer to the previous episode, episode 28. You can find it on my Facebook page, YouTube, or X. Now, we are going to, Jackie and I, show a helpful way to stop someone from playing these harmful, I'm okay, you're not okay, psychological games. And uh, let me preface this by saying uh, this actually happened when Jackie was uh, making some uh, soup and I interrupted her. Okay. And let me also, let me say that sometimes people play these games once in a while. I am not a person who plays it all the time, every time, but this circumstance really did happen, and I made a mistake and played the game. And I wasn't suggesting that you come from the I'm okay, I'm not okay position. I just wanted to make it clear right. that this isn't a habitual occurrence. No, of course not. Because I'm okay and you're okay. okay. And you believe you're okay. And I'm okay. But sometimes these things, things yeah, it happens. It happens. happens. But with some people, they're doing it all the time. But not the case with us. So uh, you want you want to tell what actually happened, and then we're going to do uh, yeah, how to what, prevent what this from happened, occurring? Yeah, what I was making cream of tomato soup. And when you're warming up a cream of tomato soup, you have to really keep an eye on it and stir it. If it gets too hot, it boils over and burns. And... I was supposed to be keeping an eye on it at all times. And then I was talking to you and I uh, Distra interrupted your... Distracted me. Yes, and you told me it was my fault that this happened. As, as we were talking, I forgot what we were doing, but as we were, were talking and, and I glanced away from the stove, it started bubbling up and burning on the, on the top of the stove and everything. And I, I was really upset. The soup was not going the way I wanted it to, and I knew I was going to have a mess to clean up on the stove. So I said, it's your fault. You interrupted me. Okay. So now this is the next day, and I want to have a conversation with you. I want to give you some feedback. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you, which is what happened. Do you mind if I give you some feedback relative to what happened yesterday with the soup? No, I don't mind if you do that. Okay. And by the way, if you have something to tell me now, before I give you the feedback, you can tell me and I'll listen to what you have to say. About the soup situation. Yeah. No, I, I really, I don't have anything to say okay. right now. So I'm going to give you the feedback okay. and tell you that I was upset that you blamed me for the mishap. And uh, I understand why you, why you did that, but I just want you to know that I was upset about it. And uh, I want to be sure that you understand what I'm saying and how I was feeling at the time when you blamed me, unnecessarily. Yes. So what are you going to tell me to show that you understand what I'm saying and how I'm feeling? You, you are upset, or were upset at that time, because my first reaction <laughs> was blaming you. Right. Oh my God, look what you made me do. And um, it was my responsibility to keep my eye on the soup. And I should have said to you, I can't talk right now. I've got to keep an eye on this. Okay. So it's very simple. Uh, just give people feedback. Make sure it's the appropriate time. You can ask for feedback if you wish. Uh, by appropriate time, Richard did not say that to me like one night in the middle of cleaning up the stove. Right. He waited till the next day. But, exactly. You know, situation 
flew over, we had supper, that was it, but we talked about it the next day. Right. So these are the things that you could do. Um, it really relates to a early episode, episode five, one, part one and part two, when we talked about the conflict resolution. This was a very short conflict resolution. And we invite all of you to discuss with your family and your friends and your colleagues uh, if you have ever played any of these games, you know, the I'm okay, you're not okay games, such as see what you made me do, I'm only trying to help you, I got you, you, in the literature it's called SOB, or lunch bag. And uh, you can even role play with your friends, uh, not these I'm okay, you're not okay games, but you can role play how to prevent people in the future from playing these games. You could even tell them the name of the game that they're playing if they're open to that. And if you wish to comment or ask questions about this particular episode or any of the episodes in our series, all you have to do is to uh, uh, Send me an email at rdsolomonphd at gmail.com. I'm also on Facebook and I'm on X or Twitter. And you can also see this video on YouTube as well. So we want to thank all of you very much for being an important part of our series. We couldn't do this. We wouldn't want to do it if no one listened to uh, what we're attempting to do. And we thank you so much for... Uh, joining us and enabling us to do this for you and for ourselves. And of course, we love doing it as well. So we'll say goodbye. Bye. -bye. Bye.